So, if you have been on Roblox in 2020 or before, you may have heard of this YouTuber named Kaneko Kitten. Kaneko Kitten is a YouTuber that makes content on Roblox news, such as the Lisa Gaming situation in 2020 and the Roblox audio removal update. Well, what happened to him? Well, uh, he has been a hiatus since like, I don't know, kind of like two months ago, or maybe before. But uh, something interesting about him came out recently, and that is him uh, trying to like um, do stuff with somebody four years younger than him. Anyway, uh, before I continue with this video, uh, if you want to see more content like this, uh, please subscribe. I'd like to thank uh, anyone that subscribed before uh, I had 100 subscribers. And overall, just thank you to anyone that subscribed after. Yeah, 100 subscribers was like a big milestone for me. And uh, I believe that anyone that subscribed before I reached 100 subscribers, I think uh, they're really special. But um, I appreciate those that subscribed after I reached 100 subscribers, as that still helps me. And uh, let's continue. So, I mean, if you search up Kaneko Kitten in like Twitter or something, or X, I don't know, like, I don't know what Elon Musk thought about the letter X as like Twitter's replacement, but I think it's very stupid. I don't care, Elon Musk, if you're obsessed with SpaceX, I like Twitter better. But uh, that's uh, another thing. Today we're going to talk about Kaneko, and if you search him up in like Twitter, you see that this guy is basically uh, the P-word. Yeah, the P-word. Um, I'm not going to say what it is, because um, I want this to be kind of like... Just make it kind of like, um, you know, kind of like friendly or something. But uh, basically, he has been, I think, like, talking to, like, a 16-year-old when he was 20. So, um, I mean, that is a big age difference, I'm going to be honest with you. A 16-year-old talking to a 20-year-old, I mean, isn't that kind of, like, big? I mean, I mean, if it was, like, 24-year-old talking to a 20-year-old, it wouldn't be as bad. But this is a 20-year-old talking to a 16-year-old. I mean, this is, like, way out of his league or something. And, uh, as you can see here, these are, these are, like, some messages, and, uh, he's basically asking that person to send pictures of, uh, I guess body parts or something. Yeah, people are kind of very unhappy with this, pretty much. Like, for example, they said, like, um, shove your tongue down my throat while our, um, that board gets, yeah, yeah. People are very unhappy with this, and uh, here we have a famous YouTuber called a uh, Lord uh, Cow Cow, which I believe he has like I think like at least three hundred thousand subscribers. I'm not sure. Okay, I mean maybe he has more. I mean, if you have more, I'm sorry, but uh, if I thought you had less, okay, I don't check uh, YouTube that much. Okay. I just, uh, I just mostly check my emails for uh, my personal and my school account, okay? I don't look at Roblox YouTube that much, okay? So, Lord Cow Cow, if I, uh, or Green Lego Cats, I guess by your uh, YouTube name, if I think you have, if I said, like, you had, like, less subscribers than I thought you had, than, uh, than like, you know you have, I'm sorry, okay? But yeah, he said about, like, uh, how he trimmed out a part where he had a relationship with a different 16-year-old, when it was 20. And. Yeah. These are like. Not very good stuff. I mean. Look. Wow. Grooming a 17 year old. That's pretty bad. I mean this guy. I mean. I mean. I mean like. I, I'm going to go to his YouTube channel really quickly. So if you go to his videos really here, like right here, I mean, you can see that he has been like, initially he has been like kind of posting like kind of like every day or something, and you know, like every two days, three days, week. I mean, these are all like regular videos and this kind of dropped out. Then these are all regular videos, nothing going on. Um, nothing really going on right here. Nothing, nothing. Then out of the blue, three months, then two months, where are you? And then, since then, on hiatus. And, and, uh, he made a recent community post right here that says, um, 
I have chosen to remove my response video as I recognize that it downplays myself pretty significantly. I watched it over and over again and there are times even there that I was downplaying myself. There is so much worse that I did with Narpy, which I, I think he's I think he's uh, Kaneko's friend. I'm not too sure, but correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. And I seriously downplayed that. I will not resurface online ever on here and do not feel I deserve a platform online. So I believe that he's saying that uh, he's not going to come back again. I can say I have changed all I want, but I believe it shows a pretty bad pattern of dishonest manipulative behavior from me. I need to figure out why I'm like this before I ever before I ever really step online again. I don't do weird um, anymore, and I am glad I can own that. I have stopped, I've long stopped being like that, but I was so degenerate and deplorable years ago with my actions that I do not believe it personally justifies me be posting online. I am going to remain offline for an indefinite amount of time. I will not return whatsoever. I will not return here. My um, my next focus from here is figuring out, out why I am like this because it isn't healthy for me whatsoever. The way I socialize isn't healthy and it is not healthy for me to be here while I clearly have problems to still assess. Here we see the like count, um, almost the same as the comic count, which is kind of bad. I mean, people have been, I mean, people have kind of been kind of a little bit supportive of him. But, uh, I'm not sure, I mean, seeing that you were talking to minors, I don't think that's really, um, I don't think that's really a, a excusable action. And 99% of the time, you can never, um, like, get off from that. But, I don't know, like, I feel like this guy has, like, a lot of personal issues. I mean, as you can see here, I mean, he he's even taking it online, and that is uh, pretty bad. I don't know, I mean, I don't know, I mean. Hey, I mean, he was a cool YouTuber, uh, like, back in the pandemic era, when we had COVID and all that. Cons and, like, his views, like, really skyrocketed, like... I mean, I'm gonna be honest with you about COVID, I mean... Everything about Roblox and, uh, YouTubers... It just all went down, but then the YouTubers and Roblox, they all just went up because of the pandemic, but... Because nobody had anything else to do. Yeah, it's pretty... But it's pretty sad that Kaneko is now, uh, confirmed to be a, um, P-word. I mean, you can go to jail for this. Like, I'm gonna be honest with you. You can go to jail for this. Like, this is not, this is not something you could just say. I'm sorry, it won't happen again. No, you can go to jail for this. In fact, um, I think in Florida, like, you could probably get like the uh, life sentence. So, you can just go to jail until like you die or something. I think this. I think this actually give the death penalty now to people that like. Do the R word on like other people. So, um, yeah. It's pretty, uh, sad to see right here. What do I think about this situation? I feel like, yeah, Kaneko, you should just get off the internet, to be honest with you. And, uh, if you don't get arrested, just know that you're really lucky to not get arrested. I mean, I mean, maybe you can change, but I don't think people are gonna forgive you. I mean, this is just, this is not something you can say, um, sorry, it won't happen again. No, I'm sorry. This doesn't happen like that. Anyway, um, that's about it for me. Um, thank you very much for watching. Um, if you enjoyed this, leave a like and subscribe. And uh, see you in the next video. Bye-bye.